So guys, we'll be sewing a backstop with multiple keyhole neckline. I'll be using my own measurements for this tutorial. Now I'm going to roll, mark half inch. You know the drill already. The half inch is our starting point. So now we'll be marking our vertical measurements. Yeah. From the starting point here, my breast point is 12 inches. Under bust is 16 inches. My waist length for the front is 21 inches. Then the full length of the blouse is 28 inches plus half inches. So we have 28.5. My shoulder is 16 inches, divided by 2 we have 8, then I'll be using a neck line of 3.5, yep, then the depth for the front, I'll be using 3.5, let's connect our front neck line together. Now for our shoulder slope, I'll use 1 inch. So I'll be ruling a straight line. Now this becomes my chest line, like this. Now so I'll repeat my shoulder measurements on my chest line. That's eight inches. So I'll be now in between, from this slope to the chest line here, I'll divide it by two, like this. So I will come in by half inch. Now my round bust measurement is 44. 44 divided by 4, we have 11. So I put the 11 here. So I'll connect my ham hole together. This is the chest line. breast point, under bust, waistline, then the full length. So my nipple to nipple measurement is 9 inches, that is 4.5, I'll be adding half inch to it, so I'll be using 5 inches, so I'll put the 5 inches on my breast point, like this. I'm going to extend the five inches to the to the full length. So I'll be marking a straight line. So guys, because I'll be using um an ham hole princess because on the picture it's showing an ham hole princess, so that is what I'll be using for this for this tutorial now from the breast point here i'll be coming up by half inch i'll read it like this then from the breast points i'll go down by half inch also like this yep so i'll connect this half inch here i'll connect it to to this point here The reason why I'm doing this is to just eliminate any sharp end, any sharp end here. Yeah. yeah, that is why I came up here by, by half an inch. Now from my, from my waist here, I'll use two inches on this point here. Then, on the center front here, I'll come in, I'll come out here by one inch. So I repeat the same thing here on my under bust. So two inches here. Then I'll be using one inch here. So I'll connect this one inch here to this point here. Then I'll connect this one also to this point. So I'll be using my curve ruler like so. Yep. 
Yep. I will now rule the straight line down to the full length. I also rule the straight line down to this full length. Now on this point here, here like this here, I'll come down by by one inch. You can come down by one inch or 1.5, but I'll be using one inch for the darts in between these points. So I'll use one inch here, then I'll be connecting it to this point here. I'll be taking this line, I'll extend it up. The reason why I'm extending it up is if I decide to cut exactly like this, here is going to get short on the fabric. So I'll be going up by 1.5 inches. So after going up by 1.5 inches like this, I'll now connect it from here back to my to my round bust. Yep. So let's impute other measurements here. Now my breast point, my round ball still remain the same. We have 11. That is it here. Then my under bust. My under bust is 34 inches. 34 divided by 4. 34 divided by 4. We have 8.5. So I'll put the 8.5 here. Then plus this, our dart intake here. You know, we have two inches there. We have one inch. Here. That's three inches. So you replace it back here. Now, for my waist, my waist is 36 inches. 36 divided by four. We have nine. So I'll be putting the nine inches on this point here. Nine plus this three inches here. I will add it. That's my waist measurement. So let's rule the line first. Now for this box effects here, we'll just be connecting from here down to this end here. For us to connect it you're just going to close your let's close our darts we take the first dart leg to the second dart leg so i'm going to use a maxing tape to just hold it down so that i can just create my my box then later I will open it up. So it is like this. Now from here I'll take it to this point. I will open it back. The difference between my front waist and my back waist is three inches. My front waist length is 21 inches. The back is 18 inches. So from the under bust here, from this under bust here, I'll be coming up by three inches. I'll mark the three inches like so. So I'll rule, I'll connect from the three inches. I'll connect it to my breast point here.
now this mesh this pattern here is without allowance on the side i'm trying to manage the paper so that i can cut the back also so when i'm cutting on the fabric i'll be adding my allowance of two two inches on the side here before i close the dots i think we are done drafting these borders so now let me let us cut i'll be closing the dots also here so that i can cut my backs my backs if i do not do that it will not be the same thing So let me cut my front neckline. I will just add half inch on this point for joining. Now I'll be cutting the center front first. I'll be closing my bust that now. So in order for me to close it, I'm going to slash here, open. I came down from here to here, three inches. So you slash it to the breast point and just stop. Please don't cut it through. Yeah. You can cut it off or you just close it like this. Just take it and close it like this. Can you see it? So you can use your tape now. So just secure it down now after closing it up you notice this is my initial line it is no longer the same thing so you're just going to blend it up from the under bust here just blend it up to the to the breast points like this So let's cut off our dots. So guys, we'll be drafting our back now. Now I already have half inch for my starting line. Ignore these lines, please. So I'll be marking one inch for our zip because there's going to be a zip at the back. Yep. So I'll just rule, rule it all the way down. Now the back length is 18 inches. This is the back length, 18 inches for the back half length. The front is 21, the half length for the front, so the back is 18 inches. Now, from this shoulder point here, like so, I'll take my, my shoulder measurement of 8 inches. My chest line is 8.5. Yep. So I'm going to be rolling the lines like this. So I'll repeat the shoulder measurement of 18 inches we are going to be connecting it like this so our slope is also one inch then the neck width we use 3.5 for the front so use the same 3.5 for the back now I'll be using the back depth of 1.5 so I'm going to be connecting it From here, the same way we did at the front, we are going to divide it by two to get our midpoint. Yep. Now my brown bust measurement is 11, so the paper is already 11. Here, that's 44 divided by 4. We have 11, so we are going to be connecting it. I'm not going to do any half inch at the back here. I'll just leave it like that because most times. Our back is usually wider than the front for some people. Now, I'll be using the front 
I use five inches for our darts for the front. I'll use the same five inches for the back. Yeah, so I'll mark the darts here and I'll also mark it here. So I'll be rolling it, taking it down with a straight line. Now I'll be doing half inch on both sides. Half inch on both sides. I'll come down from the chest line. So I'll be connecting our darts to, to this point here. I use nine inches for the waist at for the front. I'll be using the same nine inches at the back. I'll just add this dart intake of one inch. I'll add it back here. So now I'm going to connect from here to here. To avoid any zip bulge, I'll use one inch for me. You can use 0 0.75, you can use half inch, but I'll use one inch. So from this zip line here, from this zip line here, I'll be going in by one inch on this point. Going in by one inch here. Now I'm going to connect the one inch all the way up here. So watch the way I'm doing it. Now I'm doing 100% contouring at that back. I don't want to see any back bulge at all. Yep. Now I'll be cutting it off. This one inch you took out here, you can add it back to, to this point here. You can add it back here so that you replace it back here. So I'll start from up here like this. I want to remove the back bulgeness. I'll start taking one inch from here, like this. So this is now my zip allowance. So I'll be cutting this on the fabric now. I only added two inches allowance on the side seam here. I did the same thing. For the back, I added allowance here on the seam, this side here. That's what I did. Every other part, I did not add allowance because I already added it when I was drafting. I have now cut it on the lining. So we have our lining piece here. This is the lining and this is the fabric. So what we are going to be doing next is, because we'll be padding it. And if we're going to be padding, I will use, this is um, Estee and paper gum. This is ST. The ST is for the fabric, then the paper gum is for the lining. That's what I'll be doing. So exactly everything I cut like this, I'll be cutting it on the ST and the lining also. I'll cut this for the material and this for the lining. So let me cut that off camera. I did that for all the main fabric. So this is it. Now I'm going to keep it aside. Now for the lining, I told you I used the paper gum for the lining. This is it. Yep. Then what I now did is this is the paper gum for the first one. So let's assume I open it up like this. I open it up like this. I now place it like this. Then I gum. Then I use my iron to gum it. I'm just showing you. Then this, I cut four of this. Four of this from the under bust here. I already have my underbust notch here. Yeah, you cut this shape out from the underbust to the, the chest line. Now gum it like this. So this one already have four. This is four of this. Now for for the center, the bustier, I did the same thing. After cutting two of these, so by the time you now you now gum them, you place this one on this like this. This is how it's going to be. So I cut this one also. I cut four. That's um, four, four on each side. So by the time you open it up like this, you just take four of this and you gum like so, and you gum four of this like this. 
yeah so this now becomes the breast this is what we use as our pad breast pad <laughs> another thing is once i pad this on the lining it is okay i don't pad on the main fabric the fabric is just for me to cut the main fabric with the estate just like that then i'll go but you see this one i did here this four here and this four four here i don't do that on the main fabric because I don't like it when I'm ironing my fabric and it's getting skews. No, anything that I want to skew, let it be the lining. Yeah. And by the time I do everything, it will still, you'll still, the, the cup will still be very pronounced. So I will now gum all this now. After gumming, then I'll come back and show you guys. I finished gumming everything. I have both the lining and the fabric. So you you turn it like this we already have our notch our notch line so you're going to place this one like this we have our notch for the under bust so i think i want you to start from the under bust first you keep sewing till you get to this point so if you know you cannot control the curve you can just take your chalk or anything and you you mark from here <clears throat> you can mark half inch okay so that's how you do start from the under bust and you sew with half inch so you repeat the same thing we did here on the other side you're going to start sewing from the under bust when you sew to this place you then you now sew to this point yep so after sewing this you're going to take the main fabric and you do the same thing you sew so for the back you know we have a dart at the back we have that at the back this is the notch for the dart so you'll be sewing with half inch You'll be sewing with half inch to the point where your darts will stop. So you do the same thing for both the front and the back. This is what we have. This is the lining and this is the fabric. This is the back. As I've sewed the back darts and everything. Now, let me open it up for you to see. When I open it, it is standing like this. You can see how pronounce the cup the cup is it's very pronounced look at the back effects yeah so the next thing now is i'll be joining lining to lining and fabric to fabric so i'll be joining them with the sewing allowance i i added when i was cutting the fabric i told you i don't used to pad the inside of my lining of my material rather just the lining i don't like it when everything is skewed here if i'm ironing them so like this i'll take the side and i will join with the two inch sewing allowance i'll also join here also with the two inch sewing allowance i'll do that for both the material and the lining so let me do that now i finished turning all the same i did that for the front the main fabric yeah and the back also this is the back this is the lining has to join all the same together so the next thing we'll be doing now is we're going to be turning it with the lining yeah so we'll be turning the neck first after turning the neck then we'll now work on the keyhole but for now we have to turn the neck first so i'll turn here with half inch i will also turn the back after turning the neckline I will top stitch. I'm going to notch it, then I'll top stitch all the neck. So after that, I'll be turning the back also, the backs, the, the, the down parts. I'll also turn it to the lining. So let me do that for both the neck and the down parts. Before I turn the down parts, this is the zip side. So I'll be turning the, I'll be using the lining to turn the, you know, just to turn the zip here. I've not fixed the zip yet, but I just want to close this place since we are doing inseam finishing. So that's what I'll be doing. So I'll just fold here like this. Then I'll sew on this part. I'll just sew with um, 0 
all the way down then i'll do that for the other zip side after that i can now turn the hemline after turning the down part like this now we're going to be bringing everything out so let's bring it out This is the inside and this is the outside. Now the next thing is I'm going to be joining the shoulder together. So if you want to join the shoulder, the way it is like this, you take this one like so, you open it like this, then this other one, you turn it like this. So that will have to be, you know, so you can see the lining is matching the lining. The fabric is matching the fabric. So you're going to sew with the half inch we added for shoulder joining. So you do, you do the same thing for the other side. After doing that, I'm going to be fixing the zip. After fixing the zip this is the back side can you see it and this is the front this is what i have can you see the cup the way it's so pronounced and you know perfect yeah so this is how the cup is this is the inside this is our inside you can see it's so neat and and beautiful so what we're not going to do now we'll be working on the keyhole the keyhole is the next thing we'll be working on now so for us we we'll have to draft the keyhole now so I'll be drafting on the paper first so I'll be using this paper so let's say I have our middle line you can just get any line just rule any straight line you're going to mark 1.5 inches in between you can do two inches depend on how wide you want the keyhole to to be so let me do two inches instead of the 1.5 i want it wide so you just mark where your two inches get to can you see now you're going to fold fold it from that point like this so when you fold like this you just take from the end of the two inches you just mark like a tra a, a, a cycle yeah a cycle just mark a cycle like this i have my tracing wheel i'll just use it and and trace it like this If you can trace it yourself without a tracing wheel, it is okay. I can see the I can see the round cycle. What you're not going to do is you can just mark one inch all round. So we'll be cutting this box out. So guys this is what we have now i'll be cutting it on the fabric before i cut i'll gum the fabric first with a paper gum or medium gum stick so this is the paper gum i'm going to use this one has weight this one is called the medium gum stick then i cut a lining of this size then i cut the fabric it gets of this size yeah now I'll place this like so on it. This is the place that has the gum. You place it on your fabric. Then I'm going to be putting this emmy gum like this. So 
So after placing it like this, then I'll now, I'll now iron them together. After I go minutes, this is what I have. Can you see? This is the back and this is the front. So I'll be cutting this now on it. I'll cut the the numbers of keyhole that I want. Cut the numbers of keyhole that I cut. Now this round cycle here will be having that round cycle also here. So that's because you have to trace the round cycle there. Now you're going to start from the from the midpoint. Yep, this is the midpoint here. I'm going to use a chalk to indicate the midpoint here. Now, you come down by by one inch from this midpoint here. Come down by one inch like this. After marking the one inch up like this, the one inch from the neckline, after marking it down like this, so you take this part here, this upper part, this part here, can you see it? You place it on the one inch. Yes, you place it on the one inch like this. So you now use your, your pins to hold everything down. Just use your pins to secure it down. So now I'll be sewing on this round, on this round cycle here. That's where I'll be sewing. I finish sewing it. Can you see it? So I'll remove the pins like this. Then you take your scissors and you fold it into two like this. Then you just cut, cut a little. You can see we have a hole inside. Then from that hole, please you have to be very careful when you are doing this. Make sure when you are cutting, it doesn't get to your thread. I trim very close to the thread, so you just notch. Then after notching, we are going to push it inside. We push everything inside. So when you push inside, it will stay like this. Now I'm going to iron it so that hair can be very smooth. Can you see? After I iron it, this is how the hole is. Then this is the inside. What you are going to do is you just take your needle and thread and you just tack it gets you tack with the lining and this together don't let the needle and thread show on the outer parts you just take needle and thread and you tack it with the lining so that it can lay flat so i'll be doing that for the remaining one i'm done fixing everything look at our top from this side look at it from this angle can you see and this is the back and this is the front yep so the next thing is i'll be fixing the sleeve